A wise marketer once said that people are much more likely to spend money to solve a painful problem than to receive a benefit. If you think about this a little bit, you'll quickly see how true it is. Think about the worst headache you've ever experienced. In that moment, you'd give just about anything to someone who can relieve the pain for you. In order to market to your customers effectively, you'll have to dig deep and find painful problems to solve. If you already have a product that you're promoting, you'll want to focus on finding problems that your product can solve. Through this process, you'll learn how your customers talk about their problems, which will help you to write targeted sales copy that speaks directly to them. In this video, we'll explore five ways to uncover your customers' most painful problems. The first way is to just ask them. If you have an established email list or social media followers, reach out and ask them directly. Quizzes and surveys are a great way to connect with your customers and find out exactly what problems they're facing. Consider offering a small incentive, such as a coupon code or discount, to boost participation. If you don't have a list yet, try joining some Facebook groups and post an entertaining or thought-provoking quiz there. There are several great services such as Quizzer and Quiz Revolution. Number two, participate in forums. A great way to find problems is in discussion forums. People use these to seek and offer advice. Join forums related to your market or niche. Use the search feature to find out what kinds of questions people are asking that relate to your product. You can also ask questions yourself to get feedback. One note about participating in forums, though. Be sure to offer value as a member. Most forums will ban members who just promote products or services, or do so too aggressively. Number three, pick up the phone. Call your customers directly and talk to them about their concerns and needs. This works especially well for marketers who are in the business-to-business -business space, but it can work in other markets as well. If you're genuinely concerned about your customers' problems, they'll be more than happy to talk to you at length. This may seem intimidating at first, but there is no substitute for speaking to someone directly to find out what their needs really are. Number four, research other solutions. Look at other products that solve the same problem. What concerns are they addressing in their sales materials? Be on the lookout for gaps in their products or areas that could use improvement. You may be able to solve the same problem in a better way. Another great place to look for problems to solve is your own customer service department. What kinds of concerns are your customers bringing up in their emails and calls to you? If you have a virtual assistant or customer service department, take some time to find out what kinds of questions they're being asked the most often. What are the most frequent complaints or problems that they hear about from your customers? Once you have gathered your research information, you can use it to find the best products to solve your customers' problems. You can also use it to develop new products if nothing exists to solve the problem. You can also use your research to write copy that will speak directly to your audience. You can use the same kinds of words and phrases that they use to describe their problems when you're describing your solution to them. You can dig deep into the information that you've gathered to discover what's driving your customers and write copy that speaks to them on a deep level and compels them to buy your product. In other words, they may talk about wanting money, for example, but if you can read between the lines, you'll see that the desire for money is really a desire for security or status or freedom. And once you understand these underlying motivations, you'll be able to speak to them in your sales material. These are only five ways to find out what your customers' problems are. Use these as a jumping off point to come up with more research methods. However you choose to do your research, you can market more effectively to your customers if you dig deep to find out their most painful problems. If you're ready to learn how to sell more online, we put out a new marketing video every week. Click subscribe below to stay up to date on the latest lessons.